Give God your weakness and he'll give you his strength. Nothing can stand against our Almighty God. Whatever we face in life, if we just hold our peace and remain at rest, God promised He will fight our battles. He will make a way even when we don't see a way. He may not work things out the way we planned, but He is working things out for better. This COVID-19 pandemic has affected our day-to-day -day life. From our basic, routinary way of living to celebration of big events has suddenly shifted to new normal. Dup Elementary School proudly presents its second virtual graduation and completion ceremonies for the school year 2020-2021 with the theme Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic This most awaited event has never been made possible without the support of the equally and highly esteemed individuals from the Division of Cebu Province, led by the dynamic and very supportive schools, Division Superintendent Dr. Marilyn is Andales. Our active district caretaker, Mrs. Eleanor C. Omoro. Our dedicated and very young at heart school principal, Mrs. Juby F. Mendoza. Dup Dup Elementary School teaching staff, PDA officers, municipal and barangay officials, candidates for graduation and completion, proud parents, guardians, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant and joyous viewing to all. To start with, May we all put ourselves in the spirit of patriotism as we listen to our national anthem to be followed by the Sugbuhin and a prayer to be led by Felicitas Pogoy. Mga kababayan, ang pampansang awit ng Pilipinas.
upon those graduates as we send them forward. With their classes and grading now complete, may they strive toward excellence in all they do. With the applause quieted, may they celebrate and lift up those around them. With the speeches concluded, may their voices rise up to pronounce peace and justice in the world. With the funfair ceasing, may they find bliss in future endeavors and adventures. With advanced degrees and credentials in hand, may their achievements grow and enrich their communities. May they discover holiness in the midst of life's blessings as well as life's challenges. May they conduct their life's work with exceptional skill and integrity, inspired to go forth and set the world on fire from this day onward. Amen. And now, let us welcome Andrea Nicole for her words of welcome. <laughs> one of the most exciting events on every student theory. However, because of this pure breakthrough caused by COVID-19 pandemic, this did not go as what we are expecting. Nevertheless, the feeling of excitement comes to reality today. As we witness the virtual admission rights of Duck Duck Elementary School, School year 2020-2021. Before anything else, allow me to greet these people who grace this affair. Energetic, motherly, our district caretaker, Mrs. Elinor C. Omola, our dynamic and supportive principal, Mrs. UVF Mendoza, dearest teachers, supportive parents, Fellow graduates, a pleasant day. Amidst this global crisis, a fresh new batch of alumni to the sense of toward different high school to embark this chapter of their life. My fellow graduates, we are about to reach high school. We must enjoy the next six years of our lives in order for us to reach our goals of graduating high school. And finally, college. Our alma mater, Dap Dap Elementary School, taught us the values that we need in order for us to face our future without fear. 
We would like to thank our dear teachers for the knowledge you have given us and all those lessons you have shared with us. Thank you, dear parents, Dad and Papa of Mama, for working hard to give us good education. We are happy that you are here with us today because this is a milestone for us. And most of all, thank you God for all your blessings. In behalf of the Red Reading Class, it is my pleasure to welcome you to witness this virtual graduation ceremony of Duff Duff Elementary School, School Year 2020-2021. Classmates, fellow graduates, I wish you all good luck for the coming years in our lives. May the years to come and be kind to all of us and may God and His wisdom bless us with success. Thank you very much. Once again, welcome and good afternoon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness virtually the main highlights of today's event. To do the honor of presenting the school year's candidates for graduation and completion, may we have on our screen our very own and dedicated school principal, Mrs. Juvie Eve Mendoza. Mrs. Eleanor C. Ololong, our district caretaker and an authorized representative of our school's division superintendent, Dr. Marilyn S. Andales, in my capacity as principal one of Dab Dab Elementary School Pilar District, I have the honor to present to you these kindergarten candidates for completion, seven of whom are males and five are females, and 15 candidates for graduation, seven of whom are males and eight are females who have satisfactorily completed the minimum requirement of kindergarten curriculum and elementary curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education and now awaiting for your confirmation as completers, graduates with all the rights, honors, privileges thereunto appertaining. the authority delegated to me by the school's division superintendent, Marilyn S. Andales, EDD, of the division of Cebu province, based on the facts and figures your school head had just presented, and on the assurance that you have satisfactorily completed the basic requirement for completion and graduation as prescribed by the Department of Education, I now confirm you completers and graduates this July 2021 with all the rights, honors, privileges thereto appertaining. Henceforth, therefore, you are now eligible for transfer and admission to any elementary and secondary schools under the Republic of the Philippines. Should it be impossible for you to proceed to elementary and secondary education, I am turning you over to your parents or guardians so that you can be useful citizens of your community and to our country as well. Congratulations and Godspeed.
Balicio Jandri or Kahada Ganabis Cedric Villiaber Elida Raven Ganabis Habalia Ruben Mereno Maclister Sorella Peteros Ray Renzo Sagal Roman Francis Raya Borinaga Almario Jaya Monica Bolgios Amrento Andrea Nicole Cataros Blanza Ella Joy Lamberti Marike Nicole Contreras Patuan Margie Contreras Pogoy Robin and Shane Lamberti Sobis Merger Lempos, Angelica Lambeste Finally, it is time for the harvest today. We will witness the awarding of medals and ribbons to outstanding graduates. With high honors, Blanza, Erla Joy Lamberti, Almario Gia Monica Bolgios, with honors, Amrento Andrea Nicole Cataros, with honors, Marikit Nicole Contridas, with honors. Patuar, Margie Contridas with honors. Pogoy, Romelin Shane Lamberti with honors. Roman, Francis Ryan Burinaga with honors. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment for our computers has come. Let us witness the distribution of certificates and ribbons. The Kindergarten Completers Baligio Jihu O Bellionis Aaron C Borinaga Alex P Habalia Ryan B Lamberte Ivan Earl L. Leo Veras, Jan Nenio V. Narbuada, Jose Anthony. Itas, Vinice Kim. Labong, Althea May C. Mazo, Jamaica A. Roman, Zias Island B. Telempros, Eureka L. Meanwhile, may we hear Erla Joy L. Blanza graduate with high honors for her graduation speech. Pandemic, new normal, living a life that no one, not a single person ever wanted. It all started year 2019 and spread out year 2020. It is a roller coaster ride for everyone. Who are the most affected? Us, the poor. Basic necessities needed every day that we couldn't afford because we are living a no-job, no-pay life. Education, it was almost halted. Not only the students are affected, also the teachers and our parents. I couldn't imagine not graduating elementary because of a virus. I couldn't imagine my last year as an elementary student studying at home just relying on the internet and the knowledge I have. Because what can I do? The students are not just physically worn out, but also mentally. Same as our teachers and parents. The teachers are just doing the best just to provide us a learning in a normal way. 
doing their jobs in spite of everything. Our parents as well are doing their part. They are the most important for us in these trying times. Imagine doing or finding a job in the middle of nowhere. Imagine them risking lives just to provide us, their kids, the best they could do. What a life we all have. Being the school system for like seven years, 13 years, or even 17 or 18 years, then graduating virtually, well, we should always remember that as we go on, our lives may change, but always be thankful, grateful. May it be opportunity or suffering. I know we can all get through this. We got the spirit. Fellow students, not just to us, the graduates, but to all of the students, we should take care of our health physically and mentally. This pandemic taught us nothing but to be healthy. I know our minds have been through a lot and our lives had already taught us to be strong. That we will face the world fearlessly, we should be taking care of ourselves the best. Nothing beats the feeling of having a happy and healthy mind and heart. Congratulations, everyone. Let's thank God for everything that we have right now. See you in the new chapter of our lives. And now, let us hear a message from our approachable and intelligent woman, the mother of the division of Cebu province, Dr. Marilyn is Andalis. My warmest greetings and congratulations to the completers and graduates of school year 2020-2021. You are a special gem in this challenging time brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. You surpassed the test of time by being flexible in embracing the different learning modalities just to acquire the necessary knowledge, skills, and attitude, which apparently prepare you to be globally competitive and productive citizens. Indeed, we are a living witness to the undying support of your parents, relatives, and friends who stood by you to provide you with the needed moral, emotional, and financial support. To you, our beloved administrators and teachers, I am expressing my deepest appreciation for your resilience at this historic time. You stand out amid crisis. Your dedication and commitment to public service is worthy of emulation by the next generation of leaders and educators. Remain focused and be more innovative and sturdier as you face the more challenging situations ahead. My dear learners, now that you are ready to take on another journey next school year, continue embracing life's challenges with passion, dedication, and hard work. Pursue your dreams and contribute meaningfully to nation building as you climb the ladder of success. Again, congratulations, Godspeed. Friends, lend me your ears for another message will be delivered by the very important person of Region 7, Dr. Salustiano T. Jimenez. Greetings of love and peace to each and everyone. School year 2020-2021 has been the most challenging year in education. All been struggling to survive in all aspects. But our beloved Secretary Leonor Magtulis Briones lead the baton that education must continue amidst whatever crisis we will be facing. And so, here we are, celebrating one of the most precious achievement, accomplishment that you have, your graduation and moving up ceremonies. It is one fleeting sense of pride and joy 
to be able to celebrate with all of you for your victory, bravery, resilience, perseverance, and commitment that push you to experience what we have today. So our beloved, most precious gems, our dear learners, just wanted to let you know that you are doing great. It is not easy to be learners with all the pressures in today's world. The more in these trying times due to pandemic. How you hurdle your lessons remotely through distance learning of varied modalities. The fear and scare of the virus due to negative publicity and many more. But you survive and victorious. So don't lose your heart if you find things difficult. Today, the world is so tested. It is a high time that you put all your learnings into action. Never be a bystander watching as the world takes a paradigm shift. Take the wheel. Collectively, the youth are stronger than any pandemic known to men. Remember, everyone is a student of life as we all keep learning something or the other throughout our lives. So, keep the faith and believe in yourselves. Work hard and work smart too. And with the right focus and determination, you will see that goals are not impossible to achieve. Just have a clear plan and whatever detours come your way, don't be afraid. Face them with conviction that those are part of the pitfalls where we cannot evade. So be strong and let your education and learnings with God be your shield. And don't forget to thank the most honest persons in your life. Those who can say and tell you exactly what you are doing, either good or bad. Those who guide you sincerely to the path where you want to walk on. Who always with you in times of your successes and downfalls. They are your parents, teachers, relatives, and best friend. So learners, congratulations. You hit the mark on your timeline. To all the parents and guardians out there, your contribution towards the realization of the one's dreams of your children is so great. Sustain it and you will see and harvest the fruits of it sooner than later. So thank you for partnering with Deep Ed through your children's education. So to all of you, congratulations. To the school, I know how you struggle also, especially that the world was shocked of what happened and nobody was prepared. There were so many hows and whys, but you are able to navigate it until reaching its destination. So whatever is the experience and hardships, what is more important is the outcome of what you have done. That's why my salute to you. To our teachers, school heads, supervisors, and non-teaching personnel, you did a great job worthy of emulation. I am proud of you. To the SDOs, I am so happy of what your division accomplished for school year 2020-2021. Your efforts doesn't go to vain. Now it comes into fruition. So to all, kudos. To everyone, always have 
the smile in you. See miracles in life every day and you will be filled with positivity in thoughts and actions. Congratulations once again. Keep safe and God bless everyone. Today's affair is not complete without hearing the message of the highest ranking official of the Department of Education, a woman of sincere service and action, Secretary Leonor Magtulis Buris. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. 
your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers by our school officials but also by our officials in the department of education we continually talk with local government units especially in times of disaster in times of great need for classrooms for space and for responses to unforeseen emergencies thank you uh, local government uh, units but of course most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate each and every one of you is truly special you are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school you went to school practically without seeing your teachers if at all you went to school with your parents your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments you are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different you are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time uh, even as you have to do family chores even as you are distracted and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next but you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the department of education from your parents and family members your teachers from the officials in local government as well as in the parent teachers associations you deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back each hug virtually of course and each greeting which i am sure you are also receiving virtually i don't know if uh, you will remember this event many many years from now i have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when i finished high school and when i finished uh, my college studies all i remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message what was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations the happiness and the joy of our parents the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day when i was a college student we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college we would spend one whole day going around the campus visiting the classrooms saying goodbye to our teachers and sharing our memories we would have bonfires to say 
goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that are that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity the door which will help you know more about this world and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world 
a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate we want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open and so we tell you go out to the world do whatever you want to do god be with you and be sure be assured that all of us love each and every one of you congratulations thank you so much secretary bunis for touching the lives of our learners and their parents meanwhile May we now witness, as we all join her virtually, for the pledge of loyalty, Robin Shane El Pogoy, graduate with honors. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Robin Shane El Pogoy, do solemnly swear that I will uphold the honor of my alma mater, the Duck Duck Elementary School, and I promise to uphold and maintain the sublime virtues of loyalty, honesty, fairness, love, and service, which I transmitted to me, and to go faithfully about my studies with industry, perseverance, and honesty as my guide throughout my whole life for the betterment of myself for the welfare of my parents and to be service to my community and country. So help me God. At this juncture, shall we all watch the graduates and completers, whether they are parents or guardians? and friends, let us hear a closing remarks by Mrs. Florita A. Gutan, Teacher 3 of Dap Dap Elementary School. In 
every beginning, there is an ending. And every opening, we have to wrap it up together. I want to express my warmest congratulations to all of you, our dear pupils, for choosing Dup Dup Elementary School in shaping and enhancing your learning abilities and skills. Thank you to all the parents and guardians who trusted us in taking care of your educational needs. Congratulations and thank you to all the desk faculty and staff who tirelessly and steadfastly delivered their maximum efforts to help you grow more smartly and confidently. Above all, praises to God who made all these things possible amidst the global pandemic COVID-19. We truly are blessed as we stood the tests of time. See you all again in the coming academic session. Good luck and may God bless us always. Let me take this opportunity to thank everyone who unselfishly cooperated and participated in any undertakings all these years virtual graduation and completion ceremonies. Kanin yung kanan, daghang salamat. Once again, congratulations graduates, completers, and to the proud parents. Go forth, grow, and be successful. Believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside you that is greater than any one obstacle. God bless us all.